We got an email from a Calculus 2 student about Chapter 9. <coughs> so he says uh, he's lost, and he understands that he needs the basic rules of the road, but he's got the driver's hand in front of him, and the whole thing is not making any sense. Okay? <coughs> okay, so first of all, Chapter 9, statistically, it's the most difficult section. Okay, I mean, in other words, there are a large number of students who do well in 7 and 8, and then when they get to 9, they have trouble. Um, so be aware of that, okay? So it's going to take some time. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to invest some, uh, some effort into this. It's not something that uh, a lot of people just get instantaneously. But let's talk a little bit about what the purpose of this is, okay? Now, uh, there's more to it than this, but, but let's just look at one of the things, okay? So if I'm going to uh, ask you to take an integral, okay? What do you want to see here? A polynomial, right? Okay, so we want to see, you know, something like this. Because this is super easy, yes? We just add one the exponent, multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so, and, and the integral of a sum, you know, the, the sum doesn't change anything. So this is a very, very easy integral, right? But in chapter 8, remember, we were working on all these horrific integrals, yes? They have some terrible, terrible thing here, and we were doing all of these uh, these techniques and and trying to unpack this thing and, and using trigonometric substitution and all kinds of stuff to try to solve these integrals, right? And the fact is that those techniques are actually fairly limited in scope. I mean, there are infinitely many integrals that that you just can't solve. Okay. So uh, so what if there was a way? Okay. To take this terrible, terrible function, or a significant number of these terrible, terrible functions, and convert them somehow into polynomials, okay? Now, you know, a polynomial can be written, um, it's a summation, right? It's written like this, yes? Okay, so we've got some kind of constant here, yeah? Some variable constant. And let's let i start at 1, okay? So this is going to be constant i. So that constant is going to change, okay? And then we've got x, okay? And then we've got what? If this goes from i to n, uh, from 1 to n, right? If i goes from 1 to n, then this would be uh, um, i, right? And uh, you can see that this thing would actually kind of go backwards, yeah? If we wanted a, a constant in here, we could start this at zero, okay? And we would end up with a polynomial written backwards. In other words, you know, it would start out with a constant, right? That would be uh, c sub zero, and then x sub zero would be one. And then we would have, uh, you know, c sub two, which might be three, and then we would have x, and then we would have, you know, on on up to, you know, c sub n, x sub n, but you can see that, that this is just a polynomial, right? So to integrate this thing, this is going to be super easy, because all we're going to do is we're just going to add one to the exponent and multiply by the reciprocal, right? So that's really one of the main reasons why we're heading down this road with series uh, at this point, okay? is that we want a way to write a function that's a nasty integral, okay? We want to write it as a series because integrating a series is super easy. So this is a power series. Okay. So, so that gives you some idea of why we're doing it, okay? So hopefully that helps some. I'll, I'll make some more uh, videos explaining this in a little bit greater detail. But if you have questions, okay, feel free to send me an email. Right? Um, and we'll get this squared away.